Well, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Figure we'll do something a little different today. Splitter's running fine. It's right there. But uh, let's split this one round down. Wherever it's at, there it is. With the old Fiskers. It's uh, roughly about 18, 18, 19, eh, we'll say 20 inches in diameter. 16 inches thick. But let's split it down with a Fiskers. Show you guys how I, this is how I started. I didn't have hydraulics yet. I didn't have that until I first got uh, oak. So, I figure you guys are kind of tired of watching someone load a truck and trailer and off they go. And I know I've done a couple of those already. So, let's see how long it, how long uh, it, it can take you to split this down and where to, where to strike with your axes and go from there so for those of you that don't know this is fur is typically considered a softwood but when splitting by hand your softwoods can be just as hard or harder than your hardwoods like oak uh, I'd say hickory but I don't have any of that oak uh, oak is the most oak and maple are the most common two kinds of hardwood we've got here in the northwest occasionally we have stuff like sycamore and other stuff but uh in this case you got a crack here showing up you got another one and a couple more spreading out so with My Fisker's there. How long will it take me to split this down into manageable sized pieces? Since we already know we got a crack here and here, you want to strike there first. And you don't want to overstrike. If you have an overstrike, that's where you break handles if you've got wooden ones. Watch for knots. Closest one is that one. Your 
there's two more. We'll go right here in the middle. We got another knot here. Sometimes you can get through them. pieces we got. That's real time. Well, I got 27 pieces. 28? If you count that little guy. <clears throat> so, we're going the timer. It was like five minutes. But for those of you that are just starting, getting, whether you're heating the house or doing this for exercise because the gym's too expensive, here you go. You can typically find wood all over Craigslist from tree service companies. They're willing to drop it off. They might charge you 100 bucks, 200 bucks, whatever. But it's a start. You don't have to go out and get, you know, start small, go bigger. That's what I did with the splitter. I start. There we go. I started with an axe. Before I knew about Fiskers, I started with, uh, I found a couple of heads on uh, eBay, picked them up, put wood handles in them. Six months later, those handles were trash. Put another one in, go again. Got to a point where I was about a year with those handles and just replaced them, go again. Watch enough, watched others on YouTube, and I'm watching Fiskers, seeing how they're doing, and okay, I'll give it a try, and I've never needed to pick up a wooden one since, a wooden handled axe, or a maul, but this is how I got started, I just picked up the, I just picked up some firewood I found, went and drove, got it, brought it home, Split it up next weekend, did it again, load it in the truck, bring it home, throw it off, split it all down, do it again. By the time I was done, by I think middle of that summer, I had like 10 or 15 cords. 
and moved it all, did it all over again. So start small, work your way up. No reason to go broke or go in debt when uh, you're just starting or heck if you're heating the house. You got to start somewhere. It's like whether you're driving, you guys have been around a while, you, you know, pick whatever you want to go into. You started somewhere. So, until next week, thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. Like I said, that was only five minutes, one round. Before I got uh, COVID, I could go good. 45 minutes now I'm trying to work my way back into that so but uh, if you stuck around this long thanks for watching this log pile is what's coming up next week I'm not saying anymore but uh, it'll be fun so till next week Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing, and until then, thanks. thanks.